Hi everyone. So a few weeks ago, my friend Nigel G Zero CQZ uh, and all around good guy um, took it upon himself. He actually gave me this uh, original uh, Malahit uh, clone uh, DSP, the original version, and I was actually really impressed with it. Now I prior to Nigel giving me what this one. Um, I had been given another original DSP receiver by, I think it was one of my Twitter or X feed subs, but I might be wrong. It, may, it might have been YouTube, Oxford Shortwave Log. Uh, he gave me basically what was the circuit without the case, and I tried it, and it was horrific. The um, touchscreen was so unreliable. Um, I didn't, I didn't end up using it. I've used this a little bit, and have been uh, well a few times uh, and I've been very impressed with well firstly the touch screen on this works and secondly the options in terms of sort of signal filtering and uh, being able to adjust the RF gain offset with the um, preamp and all the rest of it basically the, the the sensitivity and selectivity of this radio is very good the audio is a bit thin, but not surprisingly. Um, and overall, the construction, which had nothing to do with Nigel, by the way, of the case. Uh, well, it was a bit loose, actually, when he gave it to me, so I needed to tightening it up. And I'm, I'm, well, I've been looking for something to replace my Texan uh, PL880 when I sort of travel um, for work or on holiday and I've been using that the, the PL880 since I think 2018 or 20, certainly 2019 so you know at least six years and not really found anything to replace it with I was hoping to find something that had a spectrum display and a waterfall portable and there are a few kind of Chinese radios around that have that this is the most obvious one um, so having looked online, I started looking at reviews of the um, Malahite DSP2 uh, and the reviews on it, particularly the one from Lewis, uh, Ringway Manchester, was really positive. In fact, most of the reviews have been really positive about it. The fact that the construction is much, much more robust. It's got like a machined aluminium case, um, all the controls, etc., the touchscreen, everything works really well. It's quite expensive, but... Um, having had a really bad experience with the Raddy and having to um, give that radio back and get a refund, I thought, well, why not give it a go? So I ordered the, the radio um, on Amazon and it arrived and here it is. So I'm going to do an unboxing video um, and because you do get a, a, a few items with the receiver. Um, let's just check out if the quality really is um, as has been reported. So the first thing to note is that you get this really nice hard case. It's quite big uh, depth-wise, um, but it is very good quality. Um, I was surprised when I opened the box the first time and saw this. I wasn't expecting that at all. It's a kind of step change in terms of the sort of quality of... Uh, um, the original sort of DSP rig itself and hoping that this was going to mean that the actual quality of the DSP2 receiver itself was, was good. So, and this is handy actually for traveling because that's, I'm not, well, I said I'm, I'm not gonna spend a huge amount of time sat around the house or in the shack listening to the radio with this receiver because I've got obviously loads of receivers with much better audio. Um, but a case for, for, for traveling, um, the, the like the Texan PL880 really. It's got a very nice case. It just makes it much easier when you are traveling. So it opens up in a sort of clamshell type design and in the bubble wrap is the receiver itself. And it, it's much, much heavier than the original DSP. Um, and the quality of the case is actually superb. I mean, it's to me, it feels like sort of commercial grade quality. The machining of the aluminium is just really really nice um i mean i run a company that manufactures uh scientific instruments and what have you and so i know what a well machined piece of aluminium looks like and this really is um superb so even the power button compared to the original version if you can just about uh there you go 
plastic button there compared to the DSP2. I mean, it's like night and day, really. Um, I mean, it's like a high volume commercial device. So, powers up. Um, beautiful screen, a bigger screen. It seems brighter. Um, the touch sensitivity is excellent. So, what we got. So there's actually a like a lock switch here. I've got it on, um, but you can switch that off. And then when you're traveling, it's locked. It won't power up. Um, USB-C 5 volts charging for the internal battery, headphone socket. Um, there's a high Z uh, 50 ohm antenna inputs. Um, that LED is blue at the moment, but that's because the, uh, I, I switched it on briefly earlier and um, selected the high Z antenna option for uh, medium wave. Um, volume control, frequency control, but these are also push buttons as well for other um, functions. I'm not going to go too much into the functions of this thing because I'm going to do a separate video on that. This is really just an unboxing, but as you can see, what a great piece of kit that is. So what comes with this thing? So USB-C charging cable, of course. Um, that reminds me of a silk cut cigarette from back in the day. I don't smoke, but that's actually a sort of pen for using the touchscreen, but I actually prefer to use my finger and it's, the touchscreen is very, very good. Um, there's these kind of like four sticky rubber pads, which I can only assume are for attaching probably to the base of the unit. Perhaps it wouldn't really work. There's not enough kind of real estate on the bottom of the radio. So I'm assuming that's what they're for, but I don't really know, but anyway, there you go. Um, there's a little manual, a little booklet. Uh, this is actually pretty good. The print quality is actually good. Maybe it's slightly on the light side, but the quality of the diagrams and the images in this uh, little condensed manual are actually really good. So there's a section on getting started, sort of common operation, uh, operating uh, processes, and then it covers all the menu settings. And um, the English is actually pretty good. So. That's, although small and compact, it's actually a, quite a nice manual. And of course, you can get a, a really uh, comprehensive uh, manual for the that covers the, the original DSP, the two and the three, I think, um, online. I've got it, it's a PDF, and it actually covers all three. So, but anyway, you get a little hard copy version with it. I'm not quite sure why, but um, I, knew, I knew this was the case from online um, research. You get two spare like knobs for the uh, volume and the frequency control. Never seen that before, and I don't know whether they over-ordered, but I mean, it's quite a nice touch, um, but uh, so two spare knobs there. This is actually a stand, so it's hinged, um, and it comes with a piece of double-sided tape, so you actually tape that to the centre of the rear of the back of the unit, and then it, you can then and pull it out, and then so the radio will effectively stand kind of like not quite vertically, um, a sort of nice angle for using it, etc. I'm not sure whether I'm going to bother to do that or not, and the fact that it's double-sided. It does work. I've seen videos where owners have done that, but anyway, you, that comes with it as well. Um, little carry strap, which I'm also probably not going to use. Um, it wasn't actually missing the little cover for the uh, SMA port. So we'll be taking it off. And then um, a supplier telescopic antenna with a SMA fitting on the bottom of it. So let's just screw that in and see if we can get anything. There we go. Let's go to Terms and conditions apply. Tonight's Euro Millions jackpot is thirty-two million pounds. <laughs> now that calls for a dance. How about a salsa? How about a two-step? Somebody's got moves. It's all in the hips, my friend. Oh! Get that Euro Millions feeling tonight. Euro Millions from the National Lottery. Play on app. Estimated jackpot. Account terms, rules, and procedures apply. Players must be. So there you go. So I'm just using the. I'm just using the the, the telescopic. 
Um, she could be unsure if she got a good deal part exchanging. I'm just using the telescoping. We've got a, this is actually talk sport. Totally played. And the audio is it's actually pretty good. But I've got if I if I switch the noise reduction off. Okay, so have, The noise reduction on this thing. So if I go to, sorry, let's go to the right normal filter width. Okay, and now I'm going to just switch the noise reduction on. When everyone's gaining the broadband, EE's new Wi-Fi 7 router makes every device work better, even yours. Hello, guys. So I've seen that online and thought, wow, that is probably the best noise reduction circuit that I've ever encountered. It's just brilliant. And um, this signal is not particularly noisy. It's actually quite strong. Um, customers three grand bike. Let's just... Bear in mind, I'm not using a very good antenna. So that probably shows it more clearly. But anyway, you get the idea. So effectively, what we've got is um, a, a rig that's similar, obviously, to the original DSP. Um, but much higher quality um, and just the fundamental performance of the original version in terms of sort of sensitivity and selectivity uh, was really impressive which is why I decided to shout out quite a lot of money on this but um, I think or I hope that it's going to prove to be a, a sound purchase um, yeah it's just an impressively built bit of kit um, the uh, Spectrum width is adjustable. It, it, it go. It, it's adjustable from 192 down through 96 kilohertz to 48 kilohertz. I got it on 48. I tend to use it on 48. It would be nice if it could zoom in further than that, but it's it's more than adequate. Um, and an issue I had with a one of these clones that I bought from Moonraker a while ago was that the frequency um, accuracy was so far off on um it was just almost unusable but the, the frequency accuracy on this thing is absolutely spot on in fact if i go to um let's go to 693 radio 5 live it's what i'm normally listening to on the saturday um uh, with the hot response stops i think give it a bit of a breather what we just we just had three games need to adjust the um but uh, well, Well, you've got uh, my wife will be an ally. In there we go. Because, uh, yeah, raisins, currant sultanas, and anything. So, you know, uh, she makes me a Christmas yeah. cake. So the, and the, then I the, spend the whole of December. The frequency on, on uh, accuracy else, is just, <laughs> just totally and, uh, um, it's spot on. Going for Always a concern for me when you're buying radios from overseas, uh, for sure. Um, so, and it will demodulate, obviously, AM. Well, I can see it here actually mode. It will demodulate AM, um, sideband, uh, DSB, CW, uh, narrow FM, wide FM, etc., etc. But anyway, I won't go into that too much because um, that's another video. But um, that's what you get. So overall, I've been really impressed with this um, little radio. Um, I'm going to be producing some videos on its performance, obviously, but. Um, yeah, initial impressions are that it's a very high quality piece of kit. Um, the menu system will take a little bit of getting used to. There are so many options, as you can imagine, as there would be with an SDR. Um, and obviously you've got um, limited real estate in terms of screen, etc. There's all sorts of things that you can do. So it takes a little bit of a while to get, to get used to that. I, it's okay for me because I've used one of these before, but even then I had to kind of like re-educate myself slightly. But um, 
yeah, it's uh, a great little radio and um, looking forward to uh, testing it uh, with my other antennas and um, checking out its uh, shortwave performance, uh, of course. Uh, and also when I next travel, which will be, I will be traveling this year um, uh, for work and also on holiday, I'm sure. So uh, it will be uh, interesting to uh, uh, put, it through, put it through its paces when I'm overseas. Anyway, I hope that was interesting or useful or both. Thanks for watching and uh, 73.